Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will discuss about Kaggle competition and also we'll try to implement a machine learning model to predict the survival on Titanic ship. Okay, so what is Kaggle? Kaggle is the world's largest data science community with powerful tools and resources which help you to achieve your data science goals. Basically, it allows users to find and publish the data sets, explore and build the models in a web-based data science environment and work with the other data scientists and the machine learning, and machine learning engineers. And one more, uh, you know, most important thing is, you know, it also allowed to enter the competitions to solve the data science challenges. In this playlist, you know, we will try to solve the data science challenges, okay, which are available in the Kaggle.com and also we'll submit our predictions to Kaggle to see the scores. So let us see how to join the Kaggle competition, okay. So go to the Kaggle.com, sign up and, you know, log in with your credentials. So I have already logged in with my credentials. Okay. So this will be your home page. Okay. Kaggle home page. Okay. Once you reach, now you can uh, search, you know, the, what are the, the current challenges, you know, going on. Okay. Either you can click on the compete. So these are the, you know, the running competitions. So you can check the data set in here and then you can build a model and you can submit your results to find the accuracy. And if you know any running, uh, you know, challenges, then you can search the challenge name as well. Like, you know, in the, in my case, I'm trying to search the Titanic challenge, right? So, so basically, you know, this is my search result. So this is a competition, Titanic machine learning from disasters. Okay, just click on this. Once uh, you reach to the, uh, the, you know, competition page. Okay, so first of all, you try to understand the, you know, what is the problem statement, okay? Check the overview, then go to the rule section, read the all the, you know, the rules, okay? Check the, you know, completion timeline also. So for, you know, this particular, you know, challenge, we do not have any end date, okay, deadline, okay? Once you go through the, all these rules, you have to accept the, you know, uh, this challenge, then only you could, uh, you know, you could able to uh, get and download the data set. So once you accept the rules, then you go to the data tab, okay? From here, you can download your data set, okay? So just click on download all, okay? Or else uh, you, you can select the, any one of these data sets and you can download it in your local machine. So once you download your uh, data set, you can, you know, understand the data, the behavior and the patterns, okay? And also you can go through this overview, okay? Other, you know, the details about these features, okay? From this screen, okay? And and also if you wanted to see the, you know, features of each uh, data set, okay? Then uh, select your data set, okay? Once you select this data set, okay, the right side, you can see all these, you know, the features available. And also once you do, and once you scroll down, okay, so here is, you know, this is your uh, data set, the, the training data set, okay, these are the features, okay. Or uh, just click on this to maximize this, okay. And you can now read all the features, you know, what are these values, okay. So it is better to understand the, you know, the feature behaviors and all, you know, it will help you to, you know, implement the uh, model. So once you understand the, you know, the features and all, okay, once you download the data set in a local machine, okay, then the next step would be uh, writing a machine learning program, okay. So close this. Now to write a machine learning program, okay, we have a two option, okay. First one is, you know, either you can use your uh, uh, Jupyter notebook in your local machine or else, you know, in Kaggle itself, you know, it has given the notebook where you can, you know, uh, write a program, okay. So go to your work, click on new notebook. Okay, from here you can, you know, open, create a new notebook where you can write your machine learning program and your, you can submit your results. Okay, so I'm going back. Once you're done with, you know, the uh, data pre-processing activity and you know, model implementation, I mean, the, I mean, based on your uh, training data set, okay. So now you have to uh, predict the, you have to validate the test set and you have to predict the results and save it into a CSV file, okay? Once your predicted values are ready in a CSV file, now you can submit that results into you know, a Kaggle by clicking on your submit prediction, okay? Here you can upload your that uh, you know, predicted results CSV file, okay? Share your comments, okay? And click on make submission. Once you submit, okay, it will give you the uh, your accuracy score, okay? And that can be uh, seen in your uh, leaderboard. So just like this, okay. If you see the accuracy is not good, okay, then again you can you know rebuild your model by you know uh, by improving your uh, data pre-processing activity and free feature engineering, okay. And then again you know uh, uh, get the uh, predicted results and submit, okay. So in this uh, challenge, it is allowing you know us to you know submit a ten results per day, okay. 
so in this way you know you, you'll get a chance to improve your model okay so that's all about you know the kaggle uh, challenges so let us jump and you know write a machine and program to predict the uh, the survival on the titanic i have already downloaded the titanic data set from kaggle.com i rename uh, i rename it the, those data sets into titanic underscore train and titanic underscore test okay now let us start and write the machine learning program okay so open a new python cell import the pandas library create a data frame to read the data set okay training data set check the basic information about this data set now i'll try to remove the unwanted features okay which does not play important role in our uh, you know model implementation okay for example you know passenger id and then name and then say parts and you know sibling and uh, spouse a parent and child feature ticket cabin embarked these are you know my assumption for this session okay so using drop method i can drop these you know features so these are the features i'm going to drop okay now let us see okay those features got deleted now i have to do, do some data preprocessing activity so first of would be handle the missing values so for that i have to first of all check the missing data right so for that we have a command called is null so basically age is one of the feature having a missing value so i'll have to handle this right so i'll have to first of all describe the age method age feature then after based on the description i'll decide which method or which value has to be uh, filled with these null values i mean which value has to be used to fill these missing values so let me describe so mean is 29 what i'll do i'll uh, uh, fill these missing values with you know the mean of the age okay so using fill in a method i can achieve that so here is the command okay this is the feature on which i'm applying a fill in a method to fill the mean value okay in place is also true that means that the same feature will get updated okay now let us check okay so now there is no missing value so we have handled the missing values now we will see the categorical feature okay so in our given data set sex feature having a categorical value so uh, this has to be converted using a one hot encode technique okay using get dummies method i can achieve that so let me create a new feature okay so first of all I'll, let me get, create a dummies features okay using get get dummies method okay on this sex feature okay and i'm dropping the first uh, column to avoid the dummy trap issue now let me combine this new feature with my existing uh, data frame see so now the new feature got added okay this is one hot encoded applied uh, feature okay now i do not need a uh, sex feature anymore because i already converted a uh, feature for that so using drop method i can drop the uh, sex feature let us see okay this has been dropped now now we'll do some feature scaling for these two features okay age and where because these values are, are you know varies with respect to you know other features for that i have to import the library called the standard scaler okay basically the scaler dot preprocessing standard scaler now to scale these uh, two features here is the command so basically this is the variable okay holding these two features so so this way i mean the standard scalar okay object dot fit transform okay and uh, in argument we have to pass those two features so what it will do it will you know uh, scale these two features and uh, you know update the same okay let me run this okay now let us see okay these two features got uh, feature scale now as we already done with the da data preprocessing activity now we can you know split this data set into x and y variable okay because basically the survived is our target variable right so i'll i'll i'll, I'll create a, a y variable to hold this feature and the x variable okay x uh, to hold these many features so here is a command so basically uh, to get the x feature x variable i'm dropping the survived feature okay to get the y variable i'm only only taking the survived feature okay now next up would be uh, which model have to be selected for this given data set uh, i would like to use any one of you know the following uh, uh, models so like you know the decision tree uh, then the knn and the svm that is a support vector machine classifier 
but I do not know uh, which model will be you know best fit for this uh, given data set so what I need to do I have to you know implement the model selection technique okay using a grid search CV to find the best model okay so let us import these libraries so basically this is the library for grid sets okay, okay to implement the model selection technique on these uh, three models okay so this is uh, you know or decision tree KNN and the SVC support vector you can take other uh, models as well okay so now I'm going to implement a you know, model selection technique on these three uh, models so here is the command I'm creating a variable dictionary variable okay and I'll pass this variable to the grid search CV library okay this class uh, so that you know it, it could predict and give the scores of these individual uh, models so this basically this additionary variable will have hold the keys and values so basically these are the keys okay and the values are the other model and parents okay basically the grid search uh, CV is one of the library which is being used in you know model selection technique to you know to find the best hyperparameter uh, parameters are used for a uh, given models okay. I mean uh, which parameter has to be used to you know uh, to get the good accuracy from the models okay so these are the you know the parameters so I'm giving these are the uh, two options once I apply, apply uh, this variable to the grid search CV, it will give you the, you know, the best results with, you know, what parameter it has to be used to get the uh, good accuracy of this model. So let us try to implement that code. So basically, here is the code. Okay, so I'm iterating a for loop and I'm passing the, these values to the grid search class. Okay, so this is my first variable where I'm passing the model name. Okay, and the second variable is a para parameter grid where I'm passing the parameter values of this variable okay and the cross validation will be five, five slice okay so then after i'm calling this method called you know a fit method then for each model it will iterate and it will uh, get the accuracy and that will be i'm storing in this a uh, score variable okay so let me execute okay it got executed now to see the score of individual models this is a command so basically this i'm creating a new data frame okay to get the score variable values okay so these are the my features or columns i would say for my new data frame okay let me run this command okay so now i can see the results of individual uh, the models okay decision tree it is giving a best score of 77 percent with this uh, uh, parameters uh, similarly knn is giving this much and svc giving 81 percent right so as per this results then i can decide you know this will be the best model to you know predict my you know my given data set so i'll use this uh, model to predict the uh, the, uh, predict the data set so let us start and implement the SVC model okay so is a command so basically I'm creating a, a model object okay and with these parameters okay C is equals to 100 and kernel will be RBF because this is the best hyper parameters uh, given by the uh, grid search CV library okay now let me train the model okay using X and Y variable okay so my model ha has been trained now now I have to predict the test uh, data set Right. So before that also, I have to apply data pre-processing -pre -pre activities on my uh, test data set. So let me create a new data frame to read the test uh, data set. Let me drop the unwanted features. So basically, this is the one. Okay. I'm creating a new data frame now. let me check the missing values so basically age and fair having a missing value this has to be filled okay so using fill in a method I can perform that right so these are the two commands okay one command to fill the age missing values and another command to fill the fair values okay I'm taking the mean okay mean method to fill the missing values okay now I have to apply a categorical uh, uh, I mean handle a categorical feature right so using get dummies I can achieve so is a command okay so using get dummies I'm converting this and again I'm concatenating and create and I'm mean combining uh, with uh, you know existing data frame and I'm dropping the, the this X feature from the existing data frame so let's see so here is my test data set now we'll try to implement the feature scaling on age and fair features so here is a command okay now
okay so this feature also has been scaled now as we are done with you know the uh, data preparation activity at the test set uh, also so now we can uh, predict the uh, the results of this uh, test set okay so basically we have to use a method called predict so this is my model okay model object dot predict and i am giving the data frame that is the test set okay now i am storing these predicted values in a y variable called y, y predicted okay as my prediction is done now i have to submit my predicted uh, results to the kaggle right so for that what i'll have to do i'll have to save this data into my uh, csv file for that first of all i have to uh, create a data frame okay which can hold okay here is the command basically so i'm creating a new data frame which can hold the passenger id okay which is taking from the df to passenger id okay from the data uh, test uh, test set and the survived the, the the second column which will hold the uh, the predicted y variables okay so the command so I, I just created a data frame now i'll save this data frame into csv file okay now to save in the csv uh, we have a method called to csv okay this is a file name i'm giving and this is the uh, another argument so now you can see this uh, file in your local machine so this is my new file okay so now i can upload this uh, file into the kaggle competition page okay so let's go to the kaggle page so basically this is my kaggle page uh, com competition page of you know titanic data set okay so now to submit our uh, pred predictions uh, here is the button so submit predictions click on this now here is the step one you have to upload the file so this is my file okay view the description so i'll give to okay click on the make submission it will take a few seconds to give your you know accuracy score so so it got you know predicted so now you can see your score is 77 percentage once you have upload your submission okay you can also ch check your position in a leaderboard by, by clicking on this okay okay in this public so this is my actually this is my previous best score okay now currently i'm having a less score because i removed uh, some of the features okay so this will be my position okay so still there is a chance of improving my model by you know adding uh, new uh, new features and doing some free uh, you know the feature engineering activities so once i improve the model again so i can uh, again i can submit my results using the same screen okay so that's all about uh, this session guys so i hope you understand what is kaggle how to submit the your challenges results and find the accuracy score if you like my video please click on like button and subscribe our channel thank you so much